Okay, so this is just a quick general information video on compressing the coil springs when you're replacing struts. So basically what I have here is I'm working on a 2011 Hyundai Sonata today. This is the old strut with coil spring attached and the mounting bracket on top. Kind of rusty, but I think it's still serving its purpose. This is the new strut. Okay, it's ready to go. So basically what has to happen is this spring and this top bracket and this little boot in here all have to get transferred to that other strut body. So how do you do that? You have to compress that spring and release the tension on that. So there, there are some people that would tell you that you would ne should never use one of these spring compressors. They're just too dangerous. Uh, professional shops have stands, I think, that actually compress the whole thing a little more safely. But what I found in my experience is if you use these carefully and with safety glasses on, um, you don't, you're not going to have any issues. So I'm going to walk you through real quick how that works. So basically what I'm doing first is I'm just snugging up one of these uh, coil spring compressor devices on one side. I'm going to attach uh, another one of these on the other side. Other spring loop here, okay? And uh, and I'll show you how this is going to work. We're going to use an impact gunner for this. It's going to make it a lot faster. All right, so with safety glasses on, I'm just going to slightly crank down one side at a time. You see it squeeze just a little bit there. Okay. And we'll go to the other side. And back to this side. You want to try and keep keep the pressure as even as possible because you don't want one of these you don't want one of these sides taking more pressure or more work than the other. And then periodically you just check and see if there's still tension. So like right now, this is actually loose enough that I can actually uh, remove this. I'm going to tighten it a little bit more this way to give myself a little more breathing room as I work. But um, you see, you can see, like I said, you can twist this seat now, and this has no friction here on this top section anymore. Okay, so now the next step is there's a center bolt on the top here, which you'd be able to see. Uh, it actually goes on that, on that nut there, once it comes through this bracket, this, uh, this top plate. I'll zip that nut off. I'll be able to remove all of this at once, put it on the new strut, Tighten it back again, and then we'll release the pressure on this spring, and we'll be good to go. So as you do this, make sure that the spring is seated in a correct place, uh, this end here. This car happens to have a metal tab here, so that makes it easy. Other cars will be like grooved, or you'll be able to see somehow the correct way for that spring to sit. Uh, there we go, that makes more sense. Okay, and the top here is not grooved in any way, so that will just sit on there any way it needs to. The other truck I learned the hard way is you need to make sure that you use the new hardware, the new bolt that comes with the new strut, because you may, they may not always be the same uh, threads. I learned that the hard way one time. So an impact makes this so much easier because this strut body spins as you tighten this nut. But the impact kind of has a way to go faster um, and stronger than a regular ratchet. So. <laughs> So it actually is able to tighten it all the way without any issues. And there you have it, new strut ready to be installed. A couple of quick tips. When you're using these tools, uh, it's a good idea to keep them uh, oiled. These had a light oil on them when I started. 
because it is a lot of tension pulling straight down on this thing. So make sure to keep these lubricated. Don't let them get rusty or nasty. I mean, you see how well the threads go. I can just spin it. Let you know how smooth it is. I've had these for a long time. I found them very useful, but you have to be careful. Like I said, use some use some safety glasses. Uh, do one side, then the other. Take your time. Be patient. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that this might be part of what intimidates people from doing their own struts is just getting that spring on and off. And as I've shown you, if you have air power and have some safety sense about you and you take your time, um, you can most likely get it done without any problems. So uh, hopefully this helps you. Thank you.